The Best Hawaii, presented by American Savings Bank and Hawaiian Telecom. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Ellie. It's so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. First question. Are you Camille or Ellie Mack? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely Camille. <laughs> um, I'm Camille uh, since birth, obviously, but it's I feel like it's both, you know? Ellie Mack is my name backwards. People call me Ellie. People from my shadow, they call me Camille. You know, I, I like them both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the beginning of music for you. Like, uh, when did you first start singing, or when did you know that you had that gift? Yeah, um, I started singing, ah, shucks. I wanna say maybe like seven or eight. Um, uh, all the girls in my family sing. My mom sings, my sister sings, all my sisters. And um, I would say about 10 years old, when I was in fifth grade, kind of getting into like my independence, you know, as a kid. and. Um, this is in 95. <laughs> I was, uh, um, yeah, uh, I was really getting into TLC, Salt and Pepper, Mary J. Blige, Lauryn Hill, and that's when I, I was listening to the radio, and that's when I um, really uh, realized I liked singing. You know, I just, I just wanted to sing all the time. So I would say about 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. I remember you telling me that I think you thought your sister was a better singer than you. Oh yeah, yeah. I always like, tell her, no, 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 you're way like... better. She's like, no, you are. And I'm like, no, 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 you. <laughs> yeah. She's amazing. My sister, her name is Tuesday, Tuesday Velasco, and she's so incredible. She's got like a neo soul kind of, you know, jazzy thing going on. And I, I come with the, the reggae and the kind of hip hop roots thing. So we got our own little styles, but. She's great. <laughs> of all the highlights of your career thus far, what hits you the hardest? Oh, wow. Because you kind of started off with a big bang. <laughs> I, I started off with a big bang, yeah. Um, American Idol was definitely the time of my life. It was a huge ride for me, especially at 18 years old. Um, for me, I, I would say after American Idol, American Idol was kind of like a, it was like a boot camp for me. Because when I was on the show, I was the, I was known as a nervous girl, and you know, I was just this Maui girl, and a regular wristband, you know, no makeup, and I was terrified. But after going through that experience, it really uh, prepared me for afterwards. It was like kind of like a boot camp, you know, the best boot camp you can go to. <laughs> but to me, is um, when I put out my first album, finally, ten years later. I linked up with JP from the Green, Leslie Hot Rain Band, and they helped me um, do this Ellie Mac thing. You know, and I reinvented myself and we switched my name, Camille, we switched it backwards to this Ellie Mac brand. And ever since that happened, it it just felt so natural and it, it changed my life. Dubstop changed my life, you know. I was waiting tables at the time at the shack and at Chili's and um, yeah, I felt like that was me, you know, um, I wasn't, 18, I was, you know, 28. <laughs> I was a little older, kind of more discovered myself more as a woman, and um, it just felt it just felt right. Yeah. Do you feel there are some misconceptions about um, an artist and maybe you being like rolling in dough and like you know making millions of dollars? Oh yeah, because you know you guys are, are from humble beginnings and you, you work hard, but that might not be the case. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it looks glamorous, you know, it, it looks fun, and it is fun, but um, the reality of it is it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's not like we don't have benefits, we don't have health benefits, we don't have, you know, we got to go gig by gig and we got to um, perform and put ourselves out there, we got to leave our families, you know, we got to travel and be gone for months at a time, and it, it gets hard. But um, I think just living out our, our dream is, uh, is the most rewarding part and seeing the fans. What can people expect from Ellie Mac coming yeah. up? Like even, you know, next year? And... Uh, Ellie Mac, yeah, I'm coming out with my third album. So I'm actually back home for the summer. I'm here for three months um, just to finish this album. Yeah, we're gonna come out with some new stuff and uh, a new chapter awesome. <laughs> of Ellie Mac. Yeah. How do you write your music or write your lyrics and like, what inspires you? Uh, usually for me it's um, 
when a lot of times when I go through something, <laughs> I have to kind of just live life a little bit, and get sad or get inspired or you know maybe get get you know intimidated or get whatever it is. Um, most of the time for me, I have to kind of go through something. But I try not to rely on that. I try to sit down and write. That's why I'm back home, so I can just go to the beach and write and, you know, um, yeah, it's just, I guess it just comes when it comes <laughs> for me. <laughs> I'm a writer too, but um, I don't write songs, but um, yeah. I feel like it's cathartic and it's like therapeutic. Yeah, for and sure. To let it out. And even though I'm a good communicator, yeah, I communicate when I like sit down. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It might be similar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not as talented and amazing as you. I'm the same way. Um, I can sing in front of a huge audience, but if I have to give a speech, oh my gosh, I'm like, uh, 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 hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I can't do it, you know. It's, but yeah. give you some music and like. Give you some music and I'm there. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, how can people stay in touch with you and keep up with your travels and performances? Uh, best way to keep in touch with me is Instagram, uh, ELI underscore MAC, LE underscore MAC. Yeah. And then last but not least, you got some bling on your team. I do. <laughs> Bling bling. Yeah. <laughs> so my girlfriend in San Diego offered me some, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's that like a permanent? like a it's like a braces. So they do the light with the braces, and it lasts about three to twelve months, depending on oh. yeah, on your enamel and all that good stuff. But cool. I just thought it'd be fun for the summer. <laughs> Happy Max style. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.